Hey everyone, welcome. Today's recipe, I'm making some paleo pecan bars. Now these are perfect for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, you know, when you want something a little sweet but not too much sugar. These are made with coconut sugar, by the way, and almond flour. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. This recipe is super quick to make and put together. You're gonna love it. So let's go over the ingredients. First off, we have our almond flour. We'll need some coconut uh, sugar, like I mentioned earlier, and some chopped pecans, two eggs, some butter, I'm using organic butter, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of vanilla extract. Before I get started with uh, mixing up our ingredients, I just wanna mention preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and prepare your dish. We're using an eight by eight baking dish here and I've got mine lined with some parchment paper and it kind of wants to move around so I got clever or thought I was being clever and I decided to put some painter's tape on it but lo and behold tape doesn't really stick to parchment paper very well so I'm just doing it so that when I get my uh, batter in there it doesn't move the paper around too much but and then I'll take it off of course when I bake it. You can also just, you know, like I said, use some coconut oil to uh, grease up your pan. Either way works. So we're going to start off with our butter. You want to make sure that it's softened at room temperature for, you know, a while. And I'm going to add the coconut sugar and we're going to cream these two together. All right, so once it looks like this, we're gonna add the vanilla extract. And I'm gonna place the eggs in there. And then we'll blend this up. Okay, so now for the almond flour. I've got a, a little um, strainer here that I wanna just pour the almond flour into so that I don't get any lumps. And then I'm just gonna tap it, get a little bit in there and mix it in. Now since my bowl is wiggling around on me, I'm gonna place a damp a uh, towel underneath it to help keep it still. And then I'll just keep repeating this process until I get all the flour in there. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to that. I forgot to do that earlier. I would have done it in with the uh, almond flour, but there it is. All right, so that's what our batter looks like. Now we're ready to uh, toss in the pecans. So I'll just toss those in and give them a stir. So now I'm ready to pour the batter in to my parchment and tape pan here. And so I'm just gonna, you just wanna plop it in and kind of spread it out, it'll make it easier. Now I'll remove the tape, because we don't want to bake that. And I don't know if you really even needed it, but I just tried it out. Okay, this is ready to go in the oven. All right, it's been 25 minutes, and we're gonna take this out of the oven and just let it cool. So, Here's our pecan uh, bars out of the oven after 15 minutes. I couldn't wait any longer. 15 minutes was long enough, right? What I'm gonna do here is take the parchment paper and I'm just gonna lift it right out. Makes for easy cleanup too, right? And uh, we can cut these into whatever sizes that you would like. I can't wait to dig in and, and tell you what this tastes like. 
All right, here we go. These are really delicious, guys. It's like a brownie. It has that kind of consistency of a brownie. You got the nice crunch with the pecans, and it's nice and moist, and almost a little bit chewy, but not too much. I think you're gonna love these. Not too sweet, and that was really kind of key with me. You know, when you have pecan pie, let's say for the holidays, super, super sweet and super rich. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and share the video if you know somebody who might enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click that subscribe button and that way you'll know every week when a new video comes out. So uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.